All right, gentlemen, I don't know if we're going to have school tomorrow or not, but I didn't want you to not be able to complete your homework over the weekend. So I want to take a few minutes to show you how I want you to complete your three article comparison sheet, which is found on Google Classroom. So the first thing you're going to do right up here where it says event, you're going to type the name of your event for this for our purposes here. It is the Peninsular Campaign, which began in March of 1862 and concluded on July of 1862. I'm going to put the three articles that I have read. I'm going to use their MLA citation, and I'm going to paste it after the word that says MLA citation. I can find those citations, if you remember, if I go into JSTOR, I'm logged in, go to my workspace, and I can go to the article, and there's a little quotation that says cite, and I'm just going to copy the citation that says MLA. Super easy. So, I'm going to post, paste those three those citations where it says source one, source two, source three. I'm going to repeat those down here in the second box. Notice it's identical source, MLA citation, MLA citation, MLA citation. I'm then going to type in my own words the thesis for each of the three articles I've read. I'm then going to type, look, compare them and say and write a sentence about what the theses have in common. I am then going to write one sentence about how the, the what at least one difference between the theses. So, roads, places much more lame. Oops. On General McClellan as a leader than others do. This could be because he was writing so close to the time of the battle. So, similar, a good similar sentence, a good differences sentence. I'm going to do that same thing with their sources. Who, how is this per, how is Eric T. Dean, the author of the first article, getting his sources? Is are mostly from newspapers of the era. We can go over here to the read my read article, and if I look down here at the bottom in where his he's citing his sources, I can see. Oh, yeah, so. He's using mostly other books published relatively recently. This article's published, um, I think, in, uh, in 1994. Um, he's mainly just, well, I mean, he's got the Klosterwitz. Uh, but even then, that's a 76 uh, reprint. So he's mainly using big... Uh, mostly big stuff. He does here have a primary source. Um, but you can see here, mostly large books. So I say that, right? Mostly recent books on the war. The other one, uh, because it was published in 1896, they weren't publishing sources back then, so there won't be anything, right? So then, I'm going to write a uh, similarities um, there are not many similarities between the sources of the three articles. Okay, right, and then I'm going to give a Type 8 sentence explaining differences. The differences dot, 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 right? And I'm, same thing with methodology. So I'm going to look at how does he put, how does uh, Dean, 
go about putting his paper together? Well, he looks at his newspapers and compares them to war correspondence. Right? I'm looking at what his sources are, kind of, does he explain anything? Same thing with Reed, same thing with Rhodes. And again, then I'm going to write a sentence of similarities and a sentence of differences. So I should have every box in the first two, in the first table should be filled in. Then I'm going to come down here to my second box, and I want to start thinking about what are the topics that all three of my articles cover. And the first thing I want to do is I want to label, give a name to each of the topics I'm going to discuss. And I want you to discuss at least five topics. If you have more than that, you can always uh, insert an ex insert extra rows. This is a Google Docs. So you can have as many rows as you need, gentlemen. All right, then I'm going to go into a box on logistics, for, for instance. And I'm going to start with my first source. And I'm going to describe what he means by logistics and how that comes up in the first article. My next thing I'm going to do in that same box I'm going to explain how the topic relates to the thesis. So this relates the thesis by dot, 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 right? Then, in that same box, I'm going to critique how the topic relates to the thesis. In the So how this topic relates to the thesis. Um... Logistics is a minor cause of McClellan's defeat in the Peninsular Campaign. Right, sorry for the spelling. I'm going to do the same thing for source two. What does source two say about logistics? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to describe what it is. Um, so in this one, they don't really talk about uh, logistics at all. He's more talking about strategy. So nothing there. Third source. What does that third source say about logistics? Um, he talks about... Uh, so focuses a lot on it, difficulties of running a 100,000 person army and effectively communicating strategy for that army. Okay, then I'm going to talk about how it relates to the thesis. His thesis is, is that McCl nobody's capable of commanding the army. So the army is too big for McClellan. To manage that leads, that means the army does not have what it needs to wage war. Okay? And I'm going to make some sort of critique about this. Uh, Ford says logistics are a huge problem early in the war and will take a year to figure out, right? And then I'm going to give a similarity between, I only have two things, so what are similarities? Between them, are there any similarities? Or 
really aren't. What are the differences? There are some. Ford places big blame on on logistics while Dean says they are small, right? So I'm going to do those three things. The description. I'm going to make an explanation about how that topic relates to the thesis. And then I am going to make a, um, I'm going to critique somehow. What do I think about how that works as an argument, helps with that persuasion? And I'm going to do that for each source, for all, for the, for all five topics. So, gentlemen, good luck. Um, I hope to see you in school tomorrow. If not, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'm sure we will uh, have plenty of fun dealing with and working on this when you get back.